Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the adventure drama film, Against the Sun. If you enjoy our content please don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. A Douglas TBD Devastator torpedo bomber piloted by U.S. Navy Airman Harold Dixon, Garrett Dillahunt, Tony Pastula, Tom Felton, and Gene Aldrich, Jake Abel, has problems on a patrol mission over the South Pacific on January 16, 1942. Dixon decides to return to the carrier after becoming separated from the other planes on the operation and failing to orient themselves. They are no longer within reception range, says radio operator Aldrich. Dixon gives the order to his crew to get ready for the ditching and to gather their survival kit because they are running low on fuel and are unaware of their exact location. The survivors make a successful ditching and land on a small life raft in the middle of the ocean. They even recognize that a dive bomber from their carrier is searching for them, but the search is too far away from where they are, and the rescue operation will soon move on. Dixon refers to their situation as being lost at sea the naval word for giving up the search. They make an inventory of their survival supplies under Dixon's leadership. They discover that there are no oars, a chart, or, more crucially, food or water. They float across the ocean with little chance of being rescued. Rain initially prevents dehydration, and Aldrich ultimately kills a shark after it bites their homemade fishing rod. However, supplies for both quickly run out, and the three are forced to drink their own urine. In addition to Dixon nearly being devoured after collecting a shot bird, Aldrich's hand is bit by a shark. Tensions mount as Dixon accuses Aldrich of being the reason they had to ditch the plane in the first place and that he had fallen asleep. Despite this, both men are able to partially pardon Dixon as he utilizes their shoes as makeshift oars. They start fighting and decide that the first person to find land is entitled to anything he wants, anywhere he wants from the other two. Despite their hope, a storm hits the raft, nearly killing Tony, but the three of them are still alive and have no supplies. The trio spot land and wash up on the shore of an island, Puka Puka, when they are at their lowest point and almost dead. They rowed for more than 1,000 kilometers and spent 34 days at sea, according to the credits. Dixon received the Navy Cross but never again took to the skies. Tony passed away in 1986, and even though his ashes were spread at sea, he was unable to stay in the Navy. In 1946, Aldrich wed Francis, the sister of Tony, and carried on working as a radio man. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.